heading to the supermarket, which is 13 minutes away. So that's like a 13 minute walk back and forth. We have no choice. We're super hungry and we want to eat something healthy. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna leave now. back in bed and watch my k-drama all day but then this guy had to drag me to the grocery store friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring we'll take you along take you along take you along to some other places we try towards the other horizon maybe to spend a couple hundred till we run out sandwich store on the way to the grocery and I really wanted to check it out so my brother said we can go after shopping I'm looking for something to eat for breakfast or for a snack so I think I'm gonna get the strawberry sandwich might be good sure you already know where I'm going. I'm heading to 7-Eleven. My brother asked me to get him this lemon tea. This is his favorite drink. He drinks this all the time. And for me, I'm getting my staple coffee. This is my morning coffee. Always, always head to 7-Eleven in the mornings because it's really affordable. It's only 100 yen. That's around a dollar or 50 pesos. And the coffee is really strong too. It just hits the spot.
filming outdoors, I want to show you this tool that I got to make filming easier for me. I ordered this PowerVision S1 mobile gimbal. It's mini but really powerful. It's helpful in filming steady clips. It works both as a tripod and a gimbal for my phone. I downloaded the Vision S1 application on my iPhone and this has everything you need to know about this gimbal, how to set it up, more tips and tricks on how to use the product. To connect this with my phone, it comes with this magnetic phone clamp so I can connect it to my phone. It's really easy to use. And one of my favorite features is the smart tracking. It's easy to track faces, bodies or objects, so this lets you stay in center frame while filming. All I have to do is to select the subject, like my face, and it's gonna follow me wherever I go. It also has gesture control that lets me take a photo or a video without the cameraman. So to take a video, I just make this L sign, and to take the photo, I just do this P sign. It's literally an all-in-one product. It also has a wireless power bank, which is so convenient. I just place my phone on top and yeah, no cable required. This has been really helpful, especially because I'm always low bat and power banks can be really heavy. So having this as an all-in-one product is super convenient for me. Here you can notice how smooth the camera movement is while using the gimbal. I love it so much. I'm gonna bring this with me everywhere. If you guys wanna try it out, I have a discount code for you. I'll have the link in the description box. Good morning, guys. It's Aika and it's really loud outside. I'm in front of the road, like literally my apartment in front of the road, so it's really, really loud. I brought my strawberry sandwich with me and I'm heading to Shinjuku. I just got to Shinjuku station. I was supposed to go to Harajuku, but then I feel like it's gonna get dark soon. So I don't really have time to talk to you guys. And I wanted to sit down, eat my strawberry sandwich, and catch up with you guys. It's 5.30 and I'm meeting up with my brother at 7. It smells so good. I was writing a caption for my Instagram post a while ago and I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's about some things I would tell my 16-year-old self. Just a quick backstory. When I was 16, that was one of the most unforgettable years of my life, 15 to 16. That was the time my mom and my sister moved to Japan. So I was left with my brothers in the Philippines and I really had to grow up early at that time because of course my mom's not there to help us anymore like help us with normal living stuff like cooking going grocery shopping going to the bank and all that i had to do some of those like myself by myself so i really had to grow up really the first thing i would tell myself was it's okay to be vulnerable to the right group of people because i feel like at that time I was going through a lot. I didn't really talk much about it with my group of friends because I didn't want people to pity me. So I always wanted to have this like strong appearance to others. So I wasn't really able to tell others my story back then. I feel like I was always the person or the friend that's just listening to my other friends like problems. I was never the one talking about my problems. So. I wish I opened up more to my friends at that time because I feel like they would be there for me and my connection with them would be a lot stronger. That's something I learned recently because recently I've been more open to others, to my friends about what I've been through when I was younger. I'm here with my brother. We're eating at this Yakiniko restaurant in Shinjuku. It has this really nice view. I'm gonna try this smoothie from 7-Eleven. I'm not sure which flavor I'm gonna get. 
but I ate way too much early food a while ago so I want to compensate by drinking something healthy. I think I'm gonna go for this green smoothie. of this green smoothie that I got from 7-Eleven. It's my first time seeing the blender machine thing there, so really wanted to try it out. Super curious. It's not the best tasting smoothie, but it's good. Mm -hmm. 